video is brought to you by Ustavi Academy and in this video we are speaking about Abu Hanifa and this is part 3 on the 15th of Rajab 150 August 15th 767 Abu Hanifa died in prison the cause of his death is not clear as some say that Abu Hanifa issued a legal opinion for bearing arms against the Mansur and the latter had him poisoned. The fellow prisoner and Jewish karate founder Anan bin David is said to have received life-saving counsel from Abu Hanifa and it was said that so many people attended his funeral that the funeral service was repeated six times for more than 50,000 people already who had amassed before he was actually buried. On the authority of the historian Al Khatib, it can be said that for a full 20 days people performed funeral prayers for him. Later, after many years, the Abu Hanifa Mosque was built in the Idhimaya neighborhood of Baghdad. Let's carry on. So the tomb of Abu Hanifa and the tomb of Abdul Qadir Gilani were, were basically destroyed by Shah Ismail of the of the Safavi Empire in 15. 08 in 1533 Uthmans conquered Baghdad and rebuilt the tomb of Abu Hanifa of course and other Sunni sites the students of his Yusuf Ibn Abdurrahman al-Mizi listed 97 hadith scholars who were his students most of them were famous hadith scholars and their narrated hadith were compiled in the Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih Muslim and the other famous books of Hadith. Imam Badr al-Din al-Yani included another 260 students who studied Hadith and the Fiqh from Abu Hanifa. His most famous student was Imam Abu Yusuf who served as the first chief justice in the Muslim world. Another famous student was Imam Muhammad al-Shaybani, who was the teacher of the Shafi'i school of the jurisprudence founder, Imam al-Shafi'i. His other students include, we've got a lot of names here, Abdullah ibn Mubarak, Malik bin Maghwal, Dawood Al-Ta'i, Qasim bin Man, Ushayim bin Bashir Sulami, Ali bin Ta bin Taibyan, Waki bin Jarrah, Waki bin Jarrah, Amr ibn Maymun, Abu Smah Zuhair bin Muawiyah and so many others.